Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for September the 16th through to the 30th. So second half of September, moving from Virgo season into Libra. So moving into your fellow, fellow air signs should actually be feeling quite good for you guys. We have Sword 5, Uranus, Aquarius. Fantastic, you've come out. And we've got 1, 6, Jupiter, Leo. So great. I feel like overcoming a conflict uh, and really just finding a very unique solution to something. I feel like it's like it just comes in. It's like boom, bang. And uh, now... This could be recognition for a brilliant idea. <laughs> Pentacle 6, Mercury, Taurus. It can also just be a sense of really getting your mind in the right place to bring in some beautiful energy that can bring in some more money and balance within a relationship as well. It, the, you've got the two sixes and a five. So I feel like something's getting the pressure and the squeeze on here. It's like something is kind of being given the – there's this such positive energy around something it can no longer stay in conflict. It's getting the squeeze to move beyond something. So it's like leveling up, whether you like it or not, Aquarius, moving up, getting some positive balance in terms of money – that could be coming, it could be gifts of money, there could be recognition. So whatever part of you that is resisting stepping into success, recognition, shining, being open to receive, or even feeling like there's more for you to give, it's kind of, it, there's this energy of just that energy getting the squeeze. So it's kind of, um, it's good because I feel like you're leveling up, you're stepping into this success. And it's actually going to feel good because I feel like there's, like I keep being given the word brilliance. There's this moment of uh, just stepping into, <laughs> it's like you, sometimes we're our own worst enemy and it's like, but there's these stronger parts of you or whether these are people around you, I just get these pillars of support and it's kind of like, we're doing this, we're doing this and you're going to do it, you're going to be brilliant, you're going to be fantastic. So stop worrying, stop being scared and just I'll hold your hand through this and let's do it. And it's kind of like little, I feel a lot of like inner child energy going, oh, but I don't want to do this. And the rest of you is like there's this supporting energy around you going, come on, time to shine, time to be brilliant, time to be you, time to let's time to do this. So it's just that last minute energy of maybe the inner saboteur or resistance or some sort of conflict is just kind of being eradicated. So yeah, it's fantastic energy that's coming through for you here, Aquarius. So I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm liking it. Even though there feels like a part of you that might not feel ready, it's uh, there's some stronger energies around that are ready. And I feel like a bigger part of you is ready. So to step into something quite amazing. So again, I kind of get you stepping into the limelight of some sort, shining, but in a very unique way. So that really just being you and everyone's just kind of like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I think it's amazing energy, Aquarius. And this is for sun, moon and rising, this reading. So uh, if you know all of your placements, then it's great to listen to all three. Uh, because, And especially for I getting, kind of getting Aquarius moon, this is going to bring some flashes of insight, intuition. This is not, this is for all Aquarius, but particularly for you guys that do have that Aquarius moon, this is going to make you happy. So I'm feeling happy in my heart because head is happy. <laughs> Happy head, happy heart. So, yeah, and Aquarius, this is just a general reading. So take what feels right, leave the rest. You know, your intuition is going to be like like moments of, like I said, flashes of the tower energy coming in, not in a way that um, is bringing, only in a way that it brings this knowing or this uh, illumination and suddenly you're like, ah, I get it, I know. So, yeah, it's... um. 
Fantastic. I'm loving this energy coming through for you, Aquarius. And so what I want to do is just shuffle, but I also want to tell you about an exciting new project that I have that is another channel on YouTube, which is around kids' sleep meditation and music for babies. And it's called My Glow Space. Just wanted to give it a little plug just quickly. Uh, so if you've got kids or you know someone who has kids or your grandparent, you might like to check it out. It'd be great. And, uh, you know, it's very, very new growing channel. So I'd love any kind of support that is coming through for that. So, wow. Here you are in all your brilliance. Again, the star card is the card of Aquarius. Wow. Okay, Aquarius. And if there's a part of you that is just doubting and not believing you can do this. Come back to yourself. Drink from that deep reservoir of your soul and you'll really believe this. Yeah, it's about starting something new. Maybe fear of stepping into something and leaving something, taking those first steps. Wow, could be around um, building a very, very solid foundation here uh, and it could be around a happy home, happy heart, a partnership. Oh, my goodness, here you are again, the king of swords. You are like on fire here you are like just illuminating the the world so here you are uh at the base really coming back to yourself so in the recent past the chariot things have moved quickly there's been some things you've overcome oh my goodness in the near future we've got the ten of cups this is lovely i'm loving this energy for you aquarius and a lot of happiness and success and expansion of that coming up in the near future Wow. Okay. Some decisions, decisions coming in. Uh, Queen of Swords right next to the King of Swords. Ah, beautiful. And the Queen of Swords is a real Libra energy as well. So there's this fantastic alignment and balance. There's a very, very strong partnership. There's the things that there's this energy of something that has been out of balance, being brought into balance, into a single focus. That's why I'm getting these two sixes, putting the pressure on the five going, come on, you want to be the five of swords, not the five. I mean, sorry, the six of swords, not the five. Come join the party, the six party. So, uh, yeah, speaking of which, here comes the six of cups, just the one that was missing. So... That was six. Oh, my gosh. No, okay, so this is what you want. <laughs> this is hilarious, this reading. The six of swords. This is what we're going, moving from the five to the six. And I, this is actually something you're going to really want. So uh, if this is something you've been wanting to be bringing in for a while, there is so much support for this. And we have the nine of swords as an outcome. So it could be my, oh, my gosh, is this actually happening? The two of pentacles. Uh, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, that, so this is taking that big step. You know, I feel like it is uh, knowing that there is something necessary here that needs to be done in order to bring through uh, this success and happiness. And then we've got the Mr. Moneybags himself, the King of Pentacles, stepping into success. So, wow, but there's a little process here. Could be a mini freak out or uh, so a few sleepless nights, uh, mulling over something, last minute jitters. And of course, we thought this would make an appearance, the tower, but the tower reversed, which of course is interesting because uh, the tower card's got a lot of Uranus energy, which is your ruler, Aquarius, one of your rulers anyway. And uh, I love that it's reversed because it's saying we're doing things slightly differently. We're doing it my way. Uh, so yeah, it feels like... <laughs> I love it. It actually makes me laugh, this mess, this energy. So it's kind of doing things from the bottom up rather than taking things from the top down. It's kind of doing something like tipping a process on its head and going, let's just do it this way. So, yeah, interesting. So I feel like you're really in your element here, Aquarius. I do. I feel like some people won't fully understand this. The best of your friends, the people that know you the best will understand this. Other people might look at you and think you're slightly mad, but they just, just they don't get it. They don't get the brilliance of what's going on here, these amazing insights that are happening. Uh, but I think that you'll have like these energies around you that go, oh, yeah, that's just you. That's just how you do it. So we have the star card crossed by the two of wands. There's something that you are wanting to start here, something new. 
and there's something really holding you back and that might be the decision to leave something behind. I do see you doing that here. But it, it's hard to leave that behind and there's an, a real attachment to it. So there's a conflict around that. But it's kind of like uh, you know that if you want to step into what it is that you want to step into, which is this four of wands energy, uh, building this really solid foundation, it's happy home, happy heart. It could be around a home, a new home. It could be around creating something, a good foundation uh in terms of like anything that you want in the world, it could be creativity. But again, it's this could be marriage, it could be partnership, it could be uh, working with somebody. There's an eleven eleven, so there's a mastery that's coming in here with a relationship. That uh, you know, this is a sense of feeling like something. You got something solid that has built on solid ground. It's interesting because the Tower card. Uh, removes anything that hasn't been built on solid ground and shows you some great insights about that. Now, we are seeing very clearly that you are um, definitely kind of just being you in this situation. We have at the base the King of Swords. Now, this is your card again, like the Star card. The Star card can be wishes coming true as well. There's this energy about uh, just projecting you into the future and it's like boom. So, but it's kind of like there's this interesting little obstacle and it's like uh, just, and the obstacle goes. But it's not a solution that I think or a way that other people could manage, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's kind of a uniqueness. So the King of Swords makes some, is also understanding there's a very solid decision to be made here. And it, there's a resolute energy. It's very rational, a very rational sense of detachment, looking at uh, kind of step, taking a step back from the situation and going, look, I can see that there is a conflict there and I see that something needs to be done. So it's not an emotional decision that's coming in here, even though there are some emotions around it and maybe some sentimentality. There's a sense of being attached to the past here, something nice from the past. Uh, but I do feel like ultimately deep down it's connecting back into that energy of making a resolute decision to do something. Uh, in the recent past, we have the chariot. So this is, you know, busy, busy, busy. It's a cancer energy. It is a sense of bringing to opposite energy shoot through sheer will and through this emotion that this is there's this emotional drive to be wanting to do this to be uh, overcoming something and again it's got a lot to do with house housing or a sense of identity uh, so I do feel like it's bringing some two energies that seem very very different together and through your sheer deter like just it I'm feeling it in my gut like this is just like this emotional pull. It does. It's not like it, it's not something that's been long. It seems like something very quickly that occurred, and it's like I need to be doing this. Just feeling feeling like this has to be done. And so, in the near future, we have the one six Jupiter Leo, which is success, recognition with the ten of cups, which is happiness. Uh, the most, it's the one of the happiest cards, and it can be creative as well. Uh, it can be long term happiness, it can be around family, partnership. It doesn't have to necessarily be so, it can just be about what sustains you and makes you happy for the long term. So, whatever this is, this shift and change that's occurring here, and like I said, it might happen quite quickly and suddenly, uh, it's going to. You're going to be happy with where it where it lands. So it could even be like kind of this is the energy that could be like instant success <laughs> with something. So it could be the energy of something goes viral really quickly online or uh, but I, I feel like it's more it's something bigger than that. So if that's something that happens, it's it's reflective of something that's going on in your life. Wow, the birds are really loud. So we've got the Queen of Swords here. This is the Libra energy. And right next to you, we are moving into Libra season. This is representative of you. So very much deep down, I feel like it's understanding there's the masculine version of you, the masculine energy of the King of Swords, that action needs to be taken. But at this moment in time, it's a sense of going inward and really understanding what it is that what it is that nurtures your mind, what it is that you truly want, 
and <laughs> birds are so loud. And so uh, ri- rising above, it's a sense of this internal resolution of rising above some clouds of fear and doubt and seeing things really clearly. So there's so much clarity going on here uh, in terms of uh, these two cards together. And like I said, there's this alignment, there's this balance that's coming in. This is also a very compatible partnership. So you're both on the same page. You might have some very similar ideas, ideals. Uh, The way you like to work with technology might be into technology. It might be that you, you meet well on a meeting of minds. It's a good meeting of minds. And it's also a sense that you might uh, just enjoy doing similar things like watching the same shows or investing in uh, new and different currencies. Or it's just like you've got a lot to talk about and it's like you're on the same page. So it feels like there's this nice alignment. This is a relationship coming in because there is a relationship here. So it's either a very strong part compatible partnership that is uh Again, I'm kind of getting this, but it, or this could be an alignment of you. So we have the energy surrounding you, the six of cups. So this is, again, we've got the four sixes here. And so this is actually, you know, like a, it's wanting to bring everything that you need in. And the six of cups is that sense of uh, being really present. It's quite sensory. It can be nostalgia for the past. It can be around childhood, childhood places, childhood memories, childhood friends, childhood home. It could be just around children in general, uh, connecting to children, working with children's content. Uh, It can be anything like that. Uh, and it can be about thoughts of having children of your own or grandchildren or if it's not anything to do with children, some of some of you are just like, I'm not interested in children. Uh, that's fine because this is pretty much to do with uh, really notice the senses. It could be a smell that brings you into an energy that just makes you really present. So, Or it could be something you see, it could be something you feel, something you taste. Uh, but I do feel like there's, a, like I said, a nostalgia for the past about moving beyond something. So this is what you want. It's kind of clear and there's so much clarity in this reading. This, moving from the Five of Swords, which is something is conflicted, could have been arguments or some kind of uh, missing, uh, misunderstandings or some kind of... Uh, yeah, conflict with someone else, interpersonal conflict. Moving from that, and it can be internal, as we've mentioned, into the Six of Swords, which is things start to flow and move again. It can also be around relocation, travel. It can be around moving because we've got a lot of stuff to do with home. It could be to do with moving house. And so it can also be around uh, just finding a nice balance within a relationship as well. So finding the harmony, getting the harmony back. So I feel like if there is a big move on the cards, it is requiring letting go of something here and you might it might stress you out a little bit, the idea of it. There might be some anxiety about it. There might be some sleepless nights. You might have some interesting dreams. Uh, but intuitively you know you need to leave something. There's something missing uh, and it's looking for greater fulfilment really. And so I feel like your energies are probably stretched between two different things. And uh, and it's something you could be going back and forth, ambivalent about something, like I said, but it can also be that just seeing that something is really out of balance and understanding that this action needs to be taken here. And so once that happens, we move, we've got the King of Pentacles here, which is like <laughs> Mr. Money, like I said, the money bags, a real Taurus energy, and it's right next to this Mercury Taurus coming in. So this overall, a lot of this energy is wanting to bring in uh, some success and money that's coming through with this because the King of Pentacles can be uh, someone who's a leader in business and this can be you or somebody else. It's someone that does well with money, attracts money, works with money. So it could be dealing with banks. It could be, you know, looking at your increasing your income. It could be uh, working with a boss or wanting to walk away from someone or working walking towards someone. So uh, either way, I feel like you're moving towards this energy of more money coming in. 
So, and also a sense uh, with the Taurian energy, it can be around uh, happy with the place that you're at, like its surroundings, looking good, feeling beautiful. So it brings success. So that's definitely where you're heading towards with this. So that's why it's interesting that we have the tower card reversed. And I, I kind of, this card, like I said, I always identified this with you guys, Aquarius. And it is a sense that you're knocking something off. <laughs> it's kind of what I was given. You're knocking something off, not in the way that you're going to. It, it's like removing something that was creating a blockage in a very different way. So I'm kind of getting like, you know, a champagne cork and I don't know why, but again, it's doing things very differently. You know, some people use like a knife or something to go and the, it pops out and there's this release. Uh, that's what I'm being shown the image. So it's like a lot of people will just do it with their hands or they might have an actual popper or whatever it is. You're like, I'm doing it my way. And so it is very much a sense that there is a change coming in, but it is, it feels like it's, uh, it actually feels like it's, uh, it's something you're getting in the base a realisation that you're getting in your base chakra and in your base here is the king of swords. So this is you again. Again, I think it's just those flashes of brilliance, realisation and understanding. I'm not getting that. And, and that does precipitate a big change because ir irrevocably you know something and you know something needs to change. So that's kind of the process I'm getting with the tower card. Um, and again, it does bring activated change uh, for something that is for your highest good. We have, I trust the process of life. There is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. And that's what the tower actually does. And because it's doing it, like I said, in reverse, it's a slightly different way. And again, this could be meaning it's a very internal process. It's about trusting those messages, but I kind of think they'll be so loud and clear there. There's not really, it's like you will get the message, but then you trust that what happens after that is going to be okay. And we have beautiful, a little butterfly has come in as the charm for you. I'll just hold that up for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you can see it. It's sometimes a bit hard to see. Uh, and this is really saying that there is something transforming in your life. There's a beautiful sense of transformation and something has kind of, there's joy associated with this. So liberation and joy could be again associated with childhood or inner child. And it's not the whole of your life. Like there's all these good foundations around. It's just this one thing inside of your mind with the, like an idea that's stopping you from moving forward. So that's kind of transforming, but it will have a sense that suddenly things start balancing and aligning because then the four sixes will line up and I'll be like, ah, now everything's in the right place and feeling good rather than uh, there's there's the five in there and it's like that shouldn't be there. <laughs> so, yeah, it feels really exciting. It feels really good and I feel like, uh, you know, in terms of Listen to some of those messages. You'll feel them right in your gut, in your base chakra, in, within your body, and it's to do with a sense of belonging, a sense of place. It can release fear as well, and it's uh, wearing the colour red might really help with this. But ultimately trust where it's taking you because um, there's the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. There's something really grounded that can actually also project you into a leadership role as well to do with money, business, all that sort of stuff. And it could also represent increasing income. So we're going to look at all that in the extended reading. What else is coming through with this long-term happiness? What comes in with this King of Pentacles? What is he bringing through uh, in terms of uh, you know, all the good stuff once we get past this actual process of making the decision, letting something go, what's happening in the near future and the future beyond. So that's all in the extended reading and also any intuitive messages you need to hear, as well as we're going to tune into career, money, love and relationships. So I'd love it if you come over to that Aquarius. The link is in the description box below. Uh, and but if this is where we're leaving, leaving each other and you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment because that lets YouTube know that you appreciate this con 
content and it helps support the channel. And also just a little brief reminder about my new channel, uh, my glow space. Uh, the link for that will be in the description box below, as is the link to the extended reading. I should actually say that. The link for that was is in the extra, ugh, can't speak, the description box below and also usually pin it to the comments. So thanks so much for joining me, Aquarius, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.